a big night here at American Top Team in Longwood, Florida. Tonight, we'll find out who the UFC Pac War Champion of the World is. Now let's take a look at what they'll be fighting with. Each top UFC round two box features two autographs, two relics, 16 parallels, and 16 inserts. Each pack comes with eight cards, including all-time greats and today's best fighters. Octagon of Honor features UFC legends. Bloodlines spotlight the national heritage of 25 fighters, including autographs. The set includes a historical view of some epic fights and classic fight posters. The relic cards, outstanding. The autographs, impressive. The relic autograph cards are gonna wow ya. Wow. And now, it is the time. Pop and UFC Packwood fans around the world have been waiting for. We are live at American Top Team in Longwood, Florida. It's time. 16 packs to determine the undisputed UFC Pack War Champion of the World. Introducing first, and ripping out of the blue corner, he's a top TV veteran, ultimate fighter six favorite, and Pacamaniac, Ben Saunders! And his opponent, ripping out of the blue corner, he's a top TV rookie, ultimate fighter for powerhouse, and a pack ripping machine, Ian Thomas! Let's get ready to rip on! Oh. Round one, best punch, let's get it on! Boss Root, ex-UFC champ. Wow. What? The count, Michael Bisbing. Michael Bisbing is an up-and-coming fighter. Boss Rutten is a legend. But in my opinion, Boss Rudin hits way harder. Look at this picture right here. This guy's face is jiggling all over the place. So I'm going to have to go with Boss Rudin. You ready? You ready? Best heavyweight. It's the missing specialist, Frank Mir. Brock Lesnar, current UFC heavyweight champion. Right now, Brock Lesnar is just too powerful any, for any heavyweight out there. So for best heavyweight, it's going to be Brock Lesnar for the next couple of years, in my opinion. Let's go, guys! Best hair! Welterweight, Jonathan Goulet, MMA fighter, in the hair. Man, you crazy. Dan Hardy, all the way from England. Um, I don't know how much grease or oil he puts in his hair, but Dan Hardy's hair never messes up in any fight he's ever been in. It stays straight up, so best hair is going to have to go to Dan Hardy. Round four. Round four, let's do this. Best tap out. Ben Killer B Saunders, you wouldn't know nothing about that. Joe Lazon, Jay Law. Sorry, Ben, but I'm gonna have to give this one to Dean. So Dean wins on this one, because Ben, your tap out this night was great. Round five, let's finish Tar. Best action. Welterweight, Chris Lytle. He's my trump card, Sean Shirk. For best action here, I'm gonna have to give, give it to Chris Lytle. His game is a lot more all around than Sean Shirk. He's not just a wrestler. Look at this punch right here. This shows that he's an all around striker and grappler. UFC Pac-4 champion of the world, winner by split decision, Ben Saunders. Dean, it was a great match. What do you think happened in there tonight? You know, obviously I'm a little bit disappointed, but I think, you know, I don't know, I think the judges were a little messed up, you know, they don't really know what they're talking about, you know. I thought the Ben car, Ben Saunders car would have would have won it for me, but obviously it didn't, so I'm just blaming the judges for this one, but I think all my cards were strong. Wow, that UFC Pack Wars Championship did not disappoint tonight. I mean, winner by a split decision. Ben Saunders was awesome. He loses a round to his own card, and he still takes the championship. I'm predicting he'll be champion for a long time. I think so. That was the greatest UFC Pack War ever. Ben Saunders is a new Pack War champion. I knew it would happen. Ben Saunders may be a champion now, but he don't want none of me.